Ladies and gentlemen, Wade Van Niekerk, the 400 meter world record holder, is back. Wade Van Niekerk is coming through here! Wade Van Niekerk! On March 30th at the ASA Athletics Invitational, Van Niekerk won his 200 meter race with a stellar time of 20.11 seconds, a time that currently ranks him number two in the world, only falling short of the beast from LSU, Terrence Laird, who ran a remarkable time of 19.81 just three days earlier. With a solid start, an excellent turn, and of course his world-class sprinting endurance, this run was quite reminiscent of his previous dominance on the track. And let me remind you, when he reaches this level of sprinting greatness, well, he is extraordinarily difficult to take down. I'm talking borderline GOAT status over the 300 and the 400. This 20.11 also holds very high importance for Van Niekerk. Not only does it make him the second fastest athlete of this season, but it confirms beyond any doubt that he is completely back to his previous fitness after suffering a major injury back in 2017. Now, he has run some very solid times over the previous 12 months, however, this one performance is certainly the most significant. If we look back to 2016, just two months before he smashed the world record, he ran a season's best of 20.02 in the 200, a time that is only 0.09 seconds from what he just achieved. Obviously, in 2016, he was in extraordinary shape, as he later went on to make history in the Rio Olympics, and because of this, this 20.11 most definitely means that he will be running very quickly this season. Now, if we dig a little bit deeper between these two performances, we can see something quite interesting. In 2016, he ran this time with a 1.8 meters per second tailwind, and for his most recent time, he was racing with a tailwind of 2.1 meters per second. Now, having a tailwind certainly makes your overall time just a little bit better, but the difference between 1.8 and 2.1 meters per second is very, very small. This almost identical wind reading makes these two times very comparable. However, this 20.11 was actually achieved in the rain. Now, it didn't seem as though it was raining that hard during this race, but right after he finished, the announcer said this. 20.11 seconds in the rain. In addition to this rain-confirmed commentary, Van Niekerk posted this picture on Instagram just after he brought home the victory. And while this may have been just a little bit after the race, it clearly shows a rainy race day. This time would have already been very impressive by itself, but to do this during any type of downpour makes it even more significant. Since 2017, this man has been on a mission to fully recover and get back to his previous form. Now, we still have to wait for the entire season to unfold, and we also have to wait to see how he does in the 400 meters over the next few months. But with such an excellent early season 200, it's difficult not to get excited about the prospects for 2021. In a recent interview with the Olympic Committee, he expressed that running under 43 seconds for the 400 meters was now his primary pursuit moving forward. Again, as the world record holder with a legendary time of 43.03, .03, he is far and away the closest to this barrier. But the question is, Will he manage to achieve the historic 42.99? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, Van Niekerk is a beast.